That Spider-Man copter is just killer. Yeah, I paid for 75. You okay with that? Yeah, because when am I going to see pretty. one again? It's pretty. I mean, it's beautiful. Honestly, today I didn't have time. I just went in one of my storage buildings and picked up some stuff and brought it. So I, my life is in his hands today. Chris is coming later. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, all right. right. Let's we'll see good. what he brings. Good stuff. What's going on, man? You got some good stuff today. Yeah, I like that. So a lot of these were variants you were saying, right? Yeah, yeah that's the best one I know. That's the artillery Iron Man. That was one of the last ones they made in that scale. I just brought in some of my vintage toys that I've accumulated. I've been collecting since I was 16 years old, and I'm 48 now. <laughs> so I've been at it a while. I had my own store for nine years. It was actually Ryan's competition for nine years, but we've always been friends. Yeah, and these are great. And then vintage case fresh. So unpunched and, you know, super, yeah. super clean bubbles. Yeah, Chris is great. Probably comes every other week sometimes or at least once a month at least every two or three weeks for the last couple of years i had two big storage buildings full plus what i had left over in my store when i closed he always mixes in some really good stuff with maybe some off stuff but it's still good it's just maybe not good for the store now the only key is to find people to buy rock out, lords out, <laughs> outside of me I've been bringing him my leftovers and my personal collection that I want to get rid of and all that kind of stuff for the last couple of years. And he's always treated me real fair about it. And just cause Enjoy. I love you, you can have this. Right, thank you. Don't, Enjoy. don't say I never give you nothing. This is a Linda Carter Wonder Woman. Okay. Not complete. She's missing, this one's missing the crown. Oh, she's starting to. The, the tiara, yeah, all of them's like that. This is the one with the eyebrows. Okay. Painted body. Missing one bracelet in the tiara. Right, so. This is the one that's got the actual outfit on it. It's got the cloth. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the rare one out of the bunch. Travis, like what's unique about these? I mean, I know they're tough to get, but she doesn't have her crown and she's missing a bracelet. The skin's starting to discolor, which is kind of right. standard with this. But I mean, it just... Well, they, the 12 inch ones were specifically because of the show. Yeah. So these are the Linda Carter versions, which and there's not a whole lot of Linda Carter stuff. Right, right. So this would be, con yeah, considered Linda Carter. They had two versions where her chest plate was painted and another one's cloth. And these have the eyelashes. There's a variation on a tiara uh, and they sold outfit sets the way they did with Cher. And, yeah, but look, see, now you see how this is. It's a common thing to happen. The Mego figure, especially the 12 inch ones, they have a bad habit of deteriorating. They'll deteriorate at the joints and the, the flesh will turn gray over the years and stuff like that. So the better condition you can find them in, the more lucky you got. But I read somewhere someone said on a forum that because it's rubber next to plastic, the rubber holds the heat longer and it melts into the plastic. That needs some TLC too, but it's still really cool. But I don't have no thermos. Not thermos. But this is considered one of the, the 80s grill lunch boxes. If I'm not a barbarian, but you have to clean it up and be careful with the stickers. Thunder the Barbarian! The lunch box, the thermos, is a huge element. Without the thermos, it's, it's worth nowhere near as much. I mean, it's got some wear, obviously, but... I'll let Travis do the Migos. Missing one bracelet in the tear on this one. On this one, missing the lasso, the red boots, the bracelet, the tear, and glasses. Right. The two 12-inch Mego Wonder Woman figures, you don't see them much no more, especially with the accessories and stuff, and I've got most of the accessories with those. So I'm gonna make you both of them. All right, so then that's similar. Okay, so then what, uh... How far off was I? What you finding? He put 150. On both? On the one. So it'd be 75 for the first? Well, one's 100 and one's 50. Thank you. 
That's the only one I've ever seen in 30, 30 years of doing this. And I know that can't be faded out from a dark, dark blue or almost purple. So I, I don't think so. Well, I'd be comfortable valuing it on okay. yeah. And supposedly, because I'm not a lunchbox expert, that Thundar lunchbox is something. Try looking at, yeah, 50 then on this. So we'll get that cleaned up and put it out. But, uh, but apart from that, I think it was a little bit more modern, but still good stuff. Stuff that'll move quick. And that is a complete Inspector Gadget. The box is open. You know, there's a lot of fans for Inspector Gadget, definitely. And there's just not a lot of products. So if you want a good representation and you don't want the Burger King one, then that's the one you got to go with. And, you know, if I've been doing this almost 20 years, there's only a handful I've ever physically got in a box. It's just, it's just not common. This is a nice box. Like, I'd almost keep this. That's been in my collection for at least 20 years. The Inspector Gadget's just cool. It's rare. We don't see it that often. That Spider-Man copter is just killer. I paid, yeah, I paid the 75. You okay with that? Yeah, because when am I going to see pretty. one again? It's pretty. I mean, it's beautiful. So, I believe this is Empire Toys. It was a sister company that made cheaper vehicles to sell alongside the current property that was popular. Yeah, and I mean, it's not discolored. The stickers are Stick nice. it up high somewhere and don't sell it. It's pretty. Well, Travis is going to want it. Oh. Right? Hey? I'm Marvel Man. <laughs> He's got uh, 1,300 legends in his collection, so he knows everything about Marvel. Waists, elbows. And yeah. I don't have to retain that knowledge because I know he knows it. So I defer to him on Marvel. It's, it's my thing. He gets all my good stuff if I decide to get rid of it. We're haggling back and forth on a Wonder Bread He-Man now. He's wanting it. And that's one of my grails that I don't want to get rid of. And I told my daughter, if I, if I die before we make a deal on it, to give it to him. When we buy from him, it works a little bit different because being a shop owner and he has to be willing to be comfortable with what he's going to let it go for because he still has it in his brain that I could sell it for this, but he's done with all that. So we agree to a price. And if we can settle on what he thinks it's worth, and I agree, then usually I'm gonna come in at half, being honest. You know, so if something's worth a hundred bucks, I'm gonna give him 50 cash. Uh, and then there's variables. Sometimes there's stuff that I'll pay more. Or he's like, look, I want 80 bucks for this. I know it's only worth a hundred, but good luck, find another one. So the only thing is I don't have what you put on the, uh, his uh, hood biz and has the... Yeah, the long Okay. Yeah. I think I did. Honestly, today I didn't have time. I just went in one of my storage buildings and picked up some stuff and brought it. So I, my life is in his hands today. I don't. I'm. It could be anywhere between three and six hundred dollars. I, I don't. I honestly didn't have time to check a lot of it. I'm roughly at five hundred dollars cash. With one cheap freebie? That's fine. What about the, the green Frankenstein? I, I can't see what it costs. Is it all those 20 and 25? Oh, that this was, one? That was yeah. 30. Yeah, but that's uh, fine. That's fine. He always does me good, man. I'm always happy. Like I said, we've had about three times that we bump heads on prices a little bit, but we always work it out. He's the first reseller that I've ever come across outside of me, and I'm retired. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. I mean, I'm happy. Eventually, he's gonna sell me his Wonder Bread He-Man. You know. Yeah, I, I told him all ago we've been on that. If I if I kick over first, you get it for free. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I'll just grab. I can do two. Two for one here. Uh, and it's hard to move, so be careful. And then I'm just gonna figure out. I don't know, I just might set it even here. Uh, and then figure out where to put it after. 